So I've been trying to convince myself all morning that this is possible, and I think I finally convinced myself it is. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. We got our tribe challenge of this cycle where we take the two troop tribe boosts, fully boost them up, and use a 50-50 strat. As you can see, we got warriors, uh, damage plus 60%, and of course, for like the third time, in the past couple months, we got medic healing, but we're not going to hold it against it because uh, we use medics in some of our strats, and the extra healing on the other medics is very nice. <laughs> All right, but anyway, we're going to be attacking more factory, and the way to do this, I think we're going to go for the shield generators and then go for the HQ, but as, uh, I'm kind of looking at it. The HQ isn't that protected, so I think this will absolutely be doable, but what we're going to do first is clear out some of the mines here. One thing a bit different with the tribe challenge this week, usually I will bring second wind, but I have brought private bullet taunt this time because that is extremely helpful when doing warrior attacks, but anyway, it is time to hop into the nitty gritty. Let's throw down a pair of smokes, get our troops down, and panic because we are so far away from the gunboat that everything's gonna be delayed. And I think we need to save for sh four shock bombs, but a sneaky little secret. I haven't used warriors in a while, and I forgot the shock bomb like landmarks for that, or uh, checkpoints for that, so I'm not sure if I will have if I will have enough, but we we might be able to sacrifice if not. We're okay, bullets getting uh, far behind there. I don't think he's gonna be helping out much at this attack. We're gonna get our shock bombs out. Only got three, unfortunately. Hopefully, oh, this is bad. So, we've only taken out one shield generator, so it might. Oh man, all right. This first attack did not go to plan, but we might be able to get the extra shock bomb out next attack because I don't have to throw all of the uh, GBE to clear out the mines and maybe I'll be able to um, hold back on, on some smokes or something but uh, yeah this is gonna be expensive if every attack goes like that all right let's see for this one I'm uh, all right let's just hop right into it we're gonna get our double smoke down try and protect the warriors that attack was so rough um, but we're gonna power through we're gonna get we're gonna get this. I gotta make it possible, but that first attack kind of depressing. I think I overhyped this strat, and instead of throwing the smoke on the final one, the Simo was very damaging to my strat. We're just gonna let him run, and where's Bullet? I don't know where Bullet is, but we're gonna have a taunt ready for when he is active. There he is. Let's get a flare onto the next shield generator here. Much smoother of an attack. We might only need one more on the shield generators here. And that is a-okay with me. But I thought I would be able to get through it in two full. But that first attack, I botched it. I should not have smoked them once they got there. Because the Simos were just picking off all the warriors I don't have. Um, surplus of and just downhill. But third time's a charm here. We might be able to even get a couple hits on the HQ. But I don't want to get ahead of myself. Let's do the same thing. Get our smokes down. Get our troops down. And let's speed through meet at that doom cannon once again and then we should be in the clear here most of our warriors made it let's get a flare one more smoke we're gonna keep it short though so um none of them are really covered up and then we're gonna throw a few shock bombs out down goes the one let's move on to the second that should take it out and now we're gonna smoke them to the hq for a couple hits here it will it work there's gonna be some laser beams i think hidden we can pop a taunt that is huge and we're getting a little bit of damage on the hq there but i am not where i want to be for attack number three there we got two chances to take out the hq i'm not sure how it's gonna work out i think i have to go into a scouting mode here and just i i gotta see the different defenses that are in range and all that because we don't have that many warriors so even like doom cannon hits would be extreme on my troops so that's definitely in range that's going to be a lot of these are going to be in range i think we're going to uh opt to shock for the boom cannons or the doom cannons rather and then we might need one for the machine guns as well and the cannons over here oh my goodness we're gonna have to delegate so much energy let's see where the laser beams are at yeah this this cannot go well. Let's hop right into it, though. All right, we're going to get 
And we're gonna attack it from the same side, kind of the same spot. Let's get our troops down. And I think we're gonna have to... Oh, no. Oh, no, I let them run up on me. Alright, I think we're gonna have to do the same strat of not uh, smoking the final one. We're gonna get a box of critters. We're gonna get a flare, and we're gonna start our shocking sequence. Let's get another one right here. And let's pop a taunt because so many cannons are going to be in range. Here we go. This is what we've been waiting for. The medic's finally heading over to heal up some warriors. Finally, the good thing about this war factory is there is no shock launchers hitting on my troops. Look at that. I think we're going to be able to do this in the next attack, assuming I don't fully botch it. It's going to come down to the final attack. I am juiced. We're going to see what my what my blood is made of here if we are clutch or not and we are not clutch when it comes to terms of gold so we're going to collect our resource boat retrain the troops and one final opportunity let's get this war factory and let's be prepared for our warriors when we drop them actually so we don't lose some right away so we got the tri smoke out and right away we're going to flare onto that hq get our a few smokes down and here we go we are on the way oh shoot this could be bad i see that no we're, we're gonna get this let's go that was down to the wire not on the final attack but attack like that third attack there i thought we were gonna have issues i thought maybe maybe my like overconfidence at the beginning was gonna come back bite me in the butt but we are good we finished war factory warriors and medics can't say it doesn't work had to use uh, that was a pretty easy war factory though in terms of I, I probably could have got that on one attack with some maybe two because there was some shield generators we had to worry about but now we are essentially out of gold that that is tragic let's see if we can load up our scormadier though where is it over here we're missing six hundred thousand. Oh no that's not good i think we're gonna have to wait uh i don't want to spend the diamonds the that that'll cost like the rest of the diamonds let's check oh yeah that's so much diamonds i'm gonna have to wait for myself to get gold back but that's the tribe challenge oh man so close but we were able to do it let's uh let's groom our trees here and i i had to boost up my three masterpieces i got it might have been easier if i boosted everything up over here i probably could have boosted up the gbe guardian because uh, we were low on energy the first couple attacks. We're able to do it, so that's all that matters. But thanks for watching. A lot of the tribe challenges recently have been pretty dull, so I'm hoping for a dramatic one next cycle. We can hope, but we'll see you in tomorrow's Boom Beach video. Bye-bye.